Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Furnace not heating? Here are the top seven most probable causes. The furnace igniter gets very hot and glows bright orange just before it ignites the gas burner. If the igniter is faulty, the furnace won't heat. You can remove the igniter from the furnace and inspect it for any cracks. You can also use a multimeter to determine if there is a continuous electrical path present in the part. If there is no electrical continuity, the igniter has failed and will need to be replaced. The flame sensor monitors the burner to detect whether or not a flame is present. A malfunctioning flame sensor may fail to detect the flame, causing the control board to shut off voltage to the gas valve and prevent the furnace from heating. If the flame sensor is dirty, you can try cleaning it with a fine abrasive pad. If the sensor still doesn't work, you'll need to replace it with a new one. The draft inducer motor draws air into the heat exchanger, then exhausts it out of the flue. When the draft inducer motor is energized, either pressure or a vacuum is created, activating a switch through a tube and port located on the motor housing. A defective draft inducer motor may not be able to maintain the proper airflow, stalling the ignition process. Be aware that poor airflow is often the result of insufficient ventilation or a restricted exhaust vent. Make sure your furnace is in a properly ventilated location and the exhaust vent is clear of obstructions. The control board regulates the power supply to all of the furnace components. If the control board fails, it might not send voltage to the ignition system, which will prevent the furnace from heating. The flame rollout switch monitors the heat surrounding the burner. If there are airflow problems, the switch will open and halt the ignition process. A defective flame rollout switch may open even if the airflow is good. Most rollout switches have a reset button, so you should first press the button to confirm you can reset the switch. As with the igniter, you can also use a multimeter to test the switch for continuity to determine if the part has failed. The gas valve opens to allow gas to enter the burner. A malfunctioning valve may fail to open. As with the igniter and flame rollout switch, you can use a multimeter to determine if the valve has electrical continuity. If not, the valve assembly will need to be replaced. Proper airflow will cause the pressure switch to close, allowing the ignition process to continue. A defective pressure switch may be unable to close. Again, you can use a multimeter to test the switch for continuity, provided the switch is connected to the furnace and the draft inducer motor is running. All of the parts shown in this video are available on our website. For additional troubleshooting information, enter the full model number of your furnace in our Repair Help search bar. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.